Seri is one of the seasonal food in winter. In English, this is called water drop wort or Japanese parsley. And you might know this vegetable as minari, which is Korean name for seri. And this name got famous all over the world last year because the Korean movie which name is also minari was nominated for 6 Oscars. Seri is actually a Japanese native vegetable and it's one of the 7 harvests of spring which we eat with rice porridge on January 7th to avoid all the illness throughout the coming year. So I went to the store and I found a really fresh city, so I decided to bring it back home. So many people think you can't eat the root, but actually the root is pretty good. So this time, I will make a nibble by using all of it. And here's sake for today called Kamosumori Junmai Ginjo by Naira Sake Brewery in Niigata Prefecture. Shota Takeda, who is in charge of brewing this sake, is in his 20s. The way he brews sake was his new idea does not stick to traditional method of making sake. It's attracting sake lovers, and it's getting popular recently. Sake is generally made by adding materials of sake, which are rice, malted rice, and water, in three times. But this kamosumori used a one-step preparation method. So it means they make sake by adding materials only once. In other words, it makes you be able to feel the sweetness and the sourness of rice firmly because it has less water than usual. Also, the amount that can be made at once is only one-tenth of the three-time method. So let's try this. It was a little hazy sake, but it's a nice surprise for me as a hazy alcohol lover. This is so good. The sourness like grapefruit and lychee, and the gentle effervescent feeling of very new for me, and it's really enjoyable. The sweetness of the rice was tasted really straight, and this is the best drink for aperitif. If I pair with some nibble, a strong taste such as beef would be good match with it. Oh yeah, I have a beef in the fridge, so let's make that nibble using seri and beef. I still wanna be with you, but see you later. Then let's make some nibbles. So, here are the ingredients for today. First beef, then ginger, Japanese radish, and suda citra as a condiment, and bonito stalks. And of course, it's seri. So this time, I'd like to make a beef roll-ups with seri. Let's go! So let's start from seri. First, cut off the root of seri. You might think, what? You just told me you were using the root too. But be patient. This seri root will be changed into another delicious nibble later. But let me do the leaves and the stems part first. Boil them once. If you start boiling from the stem part for about 10 seconds and then put all in, you can boil the leaf part without heating too much. When the seri is lightly softened, turn off the heat and put the seri in ice water. By doing this, you can stop cooking the seri any further. And you can keep the bright green color of the seri. When the seri gets cooled down, drain the seri well and soak it into the soup stock. Add soy sauce, if you do this, you can taste the soup stock and when you eat it later, it gets good balanced flavor as a whole. Next, let's cook the root. The seri root is actually really delicious. Personally, I always buy seri for the root. In Miyagi Prefecture, which is also a famous production area of seri, there is a delicious hot pot called seri nabe which the root is one of the main part of the hot pot. This time I'm gonna make tempura. First put some flowers on the root, put into butter mixed with tempura flour and water. The tip for tempura is to shake it a little when you put it in, and the extra butter will come off. And you can fry each root separately so the root get crispy. Yeah, it looks delicious. I'm gonna take a bite. This was really good. I thought I was gonna take only bite and save it for the end, but I ended up eating most of it while cooking. Next, condiments. Grated radish might get spicy sometimes because of destroying the tissue of radish. So it means in order to make a good one, not spicy one, you'd better grate radish along the fiber in a circular motion so that you are not destroying the tissue as much as possible. 
I will use the rest of soup stock to make sauce for the nibble. In a pot, put in the soup stock, add soy sauce and cooking liver, and turn on the heat. When it boils, add the kuzu starch dissolved in water. Kuzu starch is one of the starch made from aloe root. And I like the aroma of kuzu starch when it's thickened. So when I make this kind of dashi sauce, I use kuzu starch to thicken it. If it's thick like this, it's done. Now let's move on to the beef roll ups. First, spread the beef on a cutting board. Let's make it about this size. Drain the soup stock from the city and place it on the beef. Let's wrap it as tightly as possible. After wrapping, the next step is grilling. Meat naturally makes people smile. The sound of grilling meat, people will call it the sound of happiness. Yeah, so let's cut it. Well, the surface is beautiful brown and looks delicious. The cross section looks like this. The green color of the city looks really good. I wanna scream like, It's beautiful! Okay, let's serve it on a plate. So this time, my image for arrangement is traditional Japanese restaurant. After arranging it in a pile, pour the sauce I made earlier on it. Finally, put some condiments and that's all. This is beef roll ups with Seti. Let's eat. First, prepare sake. Well, it's a nice hazy sake. Love it. Then, squeeze the such stress and ready to go. Oh my gosh, this is really good. The first things I want to say is, the city is crunchy and delicious. The unique bitterness is also irresistible. By wrapping it with beef, the beef gravy is soaked in the city, and the city becomes a umami bomb containing soup stock and gravy. The compatibility between this sake and each ingredient is outstanding. By pairing the unique bitterness of seri and the fruity sweetness of the sake, the bitter sweetness is added to the nibbles, and it became even more tasty. Also by pairing the strong taste of beef and lactic sourness of the sake, it gives me a refreshing impression, which makes me feel like I can eat this all day. And since sake has a refreshing aftertaste, it further enhanced the umami of the soup stock. Oh yeah, I'm gonna try eat the rest of tempura with sake. Mm. Oh my god, tempura and the sake go well together. Oh, I had a great idea. Let's bring this one here. Put a lot of sauce on and let's heat. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is really good too. Well, I had a good day today. See you soon.